Hey guys, we're going to look at a few of the different types of views in Microsoft Access. Now you may or may not have already come across these, but it's just nice to know what is available. The first thing that I want to show you is here we have our table. This is still the Tuit company, sales, the Tuit sales company. I don't know. I need a better name. Uh, here we have the table, the consultants table with all the information. And this is known as data sheet view, data sheet view. So, or table view. Table view, you know, like table mountain. Hey, hey. Uh, that was not funny. So table view or uh, what did I call it? <laughs> data sheet view is like a worksheet, like an Excel worksheet. That's what it is with columns and rows. Okay. There is a different view for this, and that is the only other view that we have for this, which is design view. Design view, you are familiar with design view. Design view is the back end, what the actual table looks like, all the fields and their properties. That is the design view of the table. So let's move on from tables and look at queries. So I'm going to go to a query. Here is a query over here called consultant experience. I'm going to open it up. And at the moment, we are looking at it as a data sheet view as well. Data sheet because it's like a spreadsheet, rows and columns, no problem. But I'm pretty sure you've noticed there are these other views as well. Design view we know. Okay, let's go ahead and look at design view. Design view, there you can see we've got our table, we have our fields, we can have our criteria and filtering and sorting, all of that stuff. So that is the design view. There's one more view that we don't really work with as computer applications technology students, but it's good to know it because if, you, if you're doing IT, this is a cool place to learn about SQL. So have a look here. I'm going to change this here to SQL, Structured Query Language. Okay, that's what they do in IT. So I'm going to click on that and now have a look at this. It's taken that query that we created using the query builder or the... Uh, we just, well, all the, the wizard, and it's got it in a special sort of, not code, language, a syntax, to query the database, query the table, and return certain results. And you can see it says, select this table, that field, that field, calculate whatever that is as that, and the rest I just get lost because I don't do SQL. But there you go, data sheet view, SQL view, design view. It's also interesting to note that if I go to the bottom right hand side of my screen, okay, I can switch between those views as well down here. So here we have data sheet view, there is SQL, there is design view. So you don't have to be up there, you can also go down there, you can also the third option, right click, and you can go to design view right away. If you right click on an object in Microsoft Access, you can switch to design view right away. So that's tables and queries. You'll see that forms are uh, not any different. They've got a layout and design view. Oh, layout view. I haven't covered that. Let's do that one. So form, let's open up the form. All right, let's do that. Sorry, guys, there I was. We're getting ready to say goodbye, and there's still so much more. So here we go. Here is my form. If you remember, a form is simply just to enter data into the table. Great. And if I look at the various views that I have for a form, I've got the form view. That's the standard default view of a form where I can edit records, add new records. I've got design view, which then takes me to the back end of the actual design of the form and all the fields and the properties of the fields. There's another view with forms and reports. Okay, they both share this view. It's called layout view. And I'll show you what that does. It's actually really nice. With layout view, it gives you the opportunity to click on something in your form or report, and you can format that. You can actually then change that right away. Look at that. I can resize stuff. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can move it around. Okay, this is not looking good, but you get the idea, okay? Do you see? That's what layout view does. So in layout view, it shows you the layout, but you can actually format as well. So I can, watch this, I can select both of those and I can resize them. Same thing with reports. Let's have a look. Do not save that. No, thank you. Have a look here. Let's see, okay, so here is a report and I've got the report view. 
there is a print preview because this is a report. So reports have a print preview. I can change my pages, my columns, page setup, margins for printing. Okay, that's what a report is for. It's made for printing. And I can switch, well, let's get out of print preview. Layout view like we looked at before. Yep, that's what we do in layout view, just like before, okay. And design view again to go into the background and then look at the fields and the properties and add things in. Okay, so just so that you're aware, with tables, we have design view and we have layout. With our queries, sorry, our queries, we have design view and layout and SQL. With our forms, we have the form view, layout and design. And then, of course, with reports, we have reports, print preview, layout and design. So have a look at those when you get your hands onto this database that I'm going to share with you guys. And just, just play with it. Just break it if you need to, but then fix it again so that you know how it works. And have a look at the different views that we have on this database and all the various what we call objects. Okay, tables, queries, forms, and reports.